here today at one of the most exciting areas of IKEA with my new friend, Asen. Hi everyone and welcome me to come to IKEA Alexandra, the Swedish restaurant. I'm the country food manager for IKEA Singapore. So we manage three stores, IKEA Alexandra, IKEA Tampines and IKEA Jurong. And together with my store food manager and a total of 175 co-workers, we aim to provide a very good food and very affordable, delicious food to the customer every day. So without further ado, maybe we can just start. Yes, the we're all ready for our kitchen tour. Sure, Let's okay. go. Huh? The meatball rice right, is not exactly round shape. Oh yeah, yeah. From our to the supplier, also we say that uh, it needs to be a little bit odd shape. Yeah, reason being traditional Swedish meatball is actually hand roll. Hand roll, hand roll by old granny usually. So it cannot you look expect. too perfect. It cannot be too round. If it's too round, it's not the, the traditional city. That's meatball. so interesting. Yes, yes, yeah. So these are the very little detail that, that we have. Here is where the deep fried chicken wings happen on the that as well. Chicken wing magic. Yeah, so it's constantly able to cater about 100 chicken wings and the cooking time is probably like 5 minutes. And this is for us to prepare some of the package uh, soup, sauce, things like that. See whatever is in use and then we have the Ben Marine where we warm up all the sauces. Yeah. And then we are using all the combi ovens for our food preparation. So which is a, a state of the art that can be, you know, Used for a lot of different different cooking onto that also, yeah. So in here, the serving line we have two to three co-worker. So the responsibility for the first co-worker is to actually lead the co-worker and coordinate that. Not only they need to serve the co-worker, but also they need to look out how much customer is coming in. Is the food enough? And then she needs to shout out to behind to prepare a bit more food, things like that. Uh, you know, she, they are like the, the, conductor. the conductor of the yes. team in a way and then they will actually manage the whole team. So, so yeah. if your voice is like very soft, you can't do the We job. can't we hear. Like, Whoa, more meatballs yeah. here. We have very experienced aunties with very loud voice that actually can, can, can explain to our customer onto that as well. I really think what makes the experience here fun is the whole do-it-yourself element. For IKEA, it is a self-serve model that customer comes in and they will need to take a trolley. Then as they move on to the queue, that's where we want to have more impulse buying for them to actually grab whatever exciting, delicious menu and then fill up with the whole trolley. Mm, yeah. I see it, I like it, I grab it. You grab as much as it is. Because when you see an empty tray, what good is that to you, right? You yeah. want a, an overflowing tray. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And one thing, whatever we serve, whatever is plated, it must be similar to what has been taken on the picture, in a way. That's part of your job also, to match job. the photos exactly, to the picture. Exactly, exactly. So I'm pretty familiar with the Swedish restaurant menu, but I don't think I've seen any of these dishes on the menu before. But today, I also want to uh, share with you uh, some of the new items we have developed and created as well. And all these things I have not even tested as well. So it is live, it is real for you. And then you probably can give me some comments and then with that, we can actually roll that out accordingly. So we have a newly developed, this is called the uh, Falukuf. I think it's a traditional Swedish uh, sausage. Yep, so we actually wanted to try out the, the meat profile, the taste favoring. Uh, see whether it, would that be traditional enough or not and whether is that uh, do we need to actually go along with some of the complement sauce as well but if let's say it is good enough to go on its own why not Shall we start with we start with this first yeah, yeah. Okay. and this is the the normal meatball, uh, meatball sauce, sauce. Mm -hmm. yes exactly would you like some sauce i will try the original favor first maybe sauce by the side okay. yes please thank you so much and visually, we look at it, how is it presentable with the meat texture and thereafter followed by a smell and then see how the smell will picture that, does that align or not then lastly, then of course, then we'll take it Well, it's tender, it's easy to cut through It smells yummy 
Personally, I think this, the texture wise, is very flavorful uh, with a very crunchy skin outside that also met the expectation of a sausage, you know. Of course, then the profile or the expectation, I, I think it's a bit on the a, a, a saltier side in a way, yeah. So these are some of the some of the things that we look out for and then we will feed back because this probably would be a original Swedish recipe mm -hmm. but then we often need to reduce and adjust accordingly to the local uh, taste profile. Yeah. I see, many factors to consider. Yeah, exactly. This one next? Yes, this one highly recommended. Uh, please try this. Thank you. In your comments. Mmm, very juicy. Mm, I like it. It's yummy. I think mushroom is a very versatile ingredient as well. So usually we either make it a sauce or we actually saute it uh, as a side condiment as well. Mm. And did you come up with this dish, the idea for the dish? Yes. Mm. I think everybody likes a good fried nibble. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I was looking at these, I couldn't tell if they were cupcakes or donuts or muffins, but they are in fact cinnamon buns. So these are some of the uh, uh, cinnamon buns that is sweet dish and then we try to make it a little bit more fun in a way by adding some toppings. Um, I would like to try the coffee one please. First we smell it. We smell it. Honestly, I was expecting it to be quite sweet, mm. but I think the coffee has some bitterness that cuts yes, through exactly. nicely. Yes, exactly. So I've noticed that IKEA is very big on celebrating all the festive occasions. Mm. We do offer some local relevant to celebrate this festival. For example, uh, the Hari Raya celebration, we have this Nasi Kurobu. And this was very well received and year on year actually we serve this dish. Uh, but we do a slight twist. Like last year we have the grilled chicken leg and this year we decided to change it to a, a curry version onto that as well. For next year probably we do another deep fried version for example in that instance. I yep. see. Right. Thank you so much, Ethan, for allowing me to sample all these lovely dishes, for giving me some insight into what you do. You're welcome and hope to have you again. And then if, let's say, there's another new menu, and then we can actually sample it together, and then you can give me your comments. I still think you have a really cool job. Can I apply for your job also? For sure, send in your resume, and then we will see how. 